everyone and welcome to my latest video. So we're going to look at how Linktree works and how you can set up your account so that you can start sharing maybe your offers, your products, your memberships, your course signups with everybody by just sharing one link with them across your social media. So my name is Anita Wong and I'm a digital visibility strategist and tech coach and I help you to use the tools at your fingertips to get the visibility you and your business deserves. I simplify your visibility so it's easy for you to get seen. So the best way for me to do this is to jump into Linktree on the internet and show you exactly how to create this video. Don't forget that if you're watching this on my YouTube channel for the first time, do hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you get notified the next time I upload a new video. And I also go live once a week for a live Q&A so you'll be able to join me there and ask me questions. If you love this video already, give me the thumbs up because I'm sure you're gonna love it by the end. Okay, so this is Linktree. As you can see by my URL, link with the tr.ee is where you will find Linktree. If I just go off the admin page and show you what Linktree is all about, you can see it's the only link you'll ever need. So get started for free. Like I said, it's a free app. You can pay for it. It's really inexpensive for what it does. So we'll just check that out now. It's $6 a month and you get extra things like analytics, which is really, really crucial, especially if you want to grow your business. It also gives you the option to customize it with your brand a little bit more, and you can do all sorts of different things in there. So we'll dive into that in a moment. I'm actually going to show you how to set it up using the free account. So this will help you to grow at the beginning easily so that you don't have to spend any money until you get used to what you're doing. We're going to jump in to the free account. So we're going to jump in and have a look at the free forever account and get it set up for you. So all you have to do is sign up by coming over here. I've already got an account, so I'm just going to go ahead and sign in. But you can sign up with your email or your username. OK, so let me just go to my admin area and let's have a little look what's going on. OK, so the first thing you're going to do is set up your account. So it's going to ask you for your name and it's also going to ask you for your email address. It's also going to ask you for your username. So this is like your current account and whether you're the admin or not. You can reset your password. And of course, the danger zone is to delete it. So don't go anywhere near that. You can upgrade, like I said, but set it up first and see whether you need to upgrade. OK, so let's just click on the link tree icon on the left and let's dive into how you actually set it up. So the first thing is you'll want to sort of set what it looks like. So go to the appearance. And here you can give your profile a name and you can also add a description up to 80 characters. It's actually worth doing this, especially if you're going to use this as a doorway to your other offers. So if someone gets sent this link, it's great to have a picture of you. It's great to have a, your title. and It's great to have a little tagline because people will really get to understand what you're all about if you do that. Then you can choose one of the themes. As you can see, we're on the free plan, but there are the pro ones. So you can decide whether you want to upgrade for your own branding or you just you're happy with this. Pro also you can do custom backgrounds, you can do custom buttons, you can do custom fonts and so on and so on. So you can really like really brand it if you want to. So it's up to you how you do that. All you need to do is click on it. And over here, they've got this great little mobile phone here that will show you what your account looks like. So I'm going to jump back to this light blue one because it actually shows things up really well. OK, so that's your appearance. Then you want to go to your links. So the links are the bit that is super, super important. So imagine that you want to send people or you want to give people the choice of maybe booking a discovery call with you or going to sign up for your membership or buying your course. That's three different options that you can put behind one link. Now that link that you use is this one up here. So they usually take it from your Instagram username. But if you're like me, you might want to change that to a branded link. And you can do that with other apps like I've got pretty links on my WordPress website and it enables me to put like a cloak over it, a bit like Bitly or those other link changing ones. Otherwise, just go ahead with the link tree and use that as you wish. OK, so the first thing you can do is add links. They have this explore links option. Let's just quickly see what that does. 
Okay, so you can add a header. So clearly group your links. You can add a music link, a video link. You can add your store link. You can add a form link, a contact link, a support me link and a request link. So there's quite a lot of links that you can do. Let's add a video link by clicking on add video link. It's going to then ask you to choose how visitors watch your video. Enter the URL of your video, then choose how to display it. You can link off to the original website or embed the video right in your link tree. How cool is that? You can embed a video directly in your link tree. So let's just quickly jump over to YouTube and I'll grab a link from YouTube and I'll just show you how you can view it. So if I go over to my YouTube channel, I'm going to grab this and I'm going to click the share option and I'm going to copy the link. I'm going to go back to my link tree and I'm going to put the link where it says URL and I'm going to paste that in there. Now it's asking me to how does it want to be seen? Display this video on my link tree, link off to my YouTube website. So I think I'm going to leave it on my link tree so that people can actually see it. Auto play and mute video is option. I'm going to just reduce this title down a bit so that my, my link is much shorter. So um, I'm just going to put here and then you click outside and it will shorten that button. So that's quite a cool way of doing it. So then all you have to do is um, close this down and you're all ready to add your second link. So go ahead and add another link. So let's see what else we can do. We can add a link to a form or contact details. So let's maybe add contact details, see what that does. So contact details is, it will ask you to add your name, last name, occupation, position. You can type in the email that they can, they can then add their email and they can add their address and they can add all sorts of things. So that's quite cool. Let's add that in there. So that's a really good way of you offering the opportunity for people to reach out and connect with you. So let's just leave that as it is. And then let's add that all important website link. So let's go up and go to your website. And if you want to take people to a specific page on your website, then go to that specific page. So for instance, I'm promoting a new digital course program at the moment. So if I click on that, I want people to go straight to that and watch the webinar, which will help them learn about the course. So I can click on the actual webinar link and shorten the way it takes or the length of time it takes people to get there. So I'm gonna copy that, go back to my link tree, add new link, add the URL, and then I'm going to click outside the box and it's going to add that to my screen. Now, as you can see, the more links I put in, the more I can put onto my homepage. Now, if I wanna see what this looks like in the real life, all I need to do is click on my link up here and it's going to open up that page. And as you can see, this is what the page looks like on the desktop and if you, share that link onto your mobile then it's also going to show up on your mobile but it's going to show up on your mobile like this one here so that's how you add your links to your link tree now this link that we've got here you can then paste that link anywhere you wish on the internet including in an email signature or on a broadcast that you've got or on a social media post that you're using and you're promoting anywhere you wish so I hope that's helped you to create that one stop link that enables you to take people to all of your offers rather than you having to share multiple links across multiple posts. So the advantage of using Linktree for this, especially if you're using a web a social media platform that only allows you to do one link, such as Instagram, it enables you to create a pathway or a workflow which can lead to lead generation, audience growth, selling your products, selling your services. So do give Linktree a go. If you have any questions about Linktree, come back to this video, and drop them in the comments below and I'll try my best to help you out. Don't forget, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. So do give me the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and ring that bell so that you get notified the next time I upload a new video or I go live for my weekly Q&A. My name's Anita Wong. Thanks for joining me here in this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.